Uh, you, okay, so <clears throat> okay. does the course in miracles? I'm going to title this. Does the course in miracles come from the devil? Uh, <laughs> oh my God, Samir! I love Pixar. <laughs> All right, I, I might change the title. We'll see. Oh, Twenty thousand views. <laughs> oh, Pixar! Oh my God, Samir! <laughs> I've had some. I've had some hate comments already. So. Um, uh -huh. Right. I'm surprised anyone watches my videos pretty soon. <laughs> um, this is going to be, I'm going to, I think I'm going to write controversial video or something on here. I think I should write for all of them this week. <laughs> controversial <laughs> video. I think they're all going to be like controversial, <laughs> sensitive, do not watch yeah. videos. Um, and what, what I'm going to say, take what you want, leave the rest. Yeah. For, even for people in this room, take what you want, yeah. leave the rest. Uh, these are just my views on A Course in Miracles and the Bible which is very, you know, is, is dear to many people. <clears throat> I mean, my, my teacher is Dr. David R. Hawkins, you know, so he's, he's the one. And uh, so I took everything, everything, you know, my attraction to The Course of Miracles came from Dr. David R. Hawkins, because, you know, I had a spir spiritual experiences with his DVD and in meeting him, and my life transformed. So he, he's my, he's, he's definitely my teacher. Uh, Jesus is also my teacher and Buddha as well. Uh, but uh, Hawkins is the one I met in real life, and he, I hold him dear in my heart. And um, so, um, okay, so he goes by muscle testing. So muscle testing kinesiology, you can check everything, uh, especially if you're a good muscle tester in alignment on a scale from zero, you know, he's got his map of consciousness, and you can see what level of truth everything has in anything in the world. You can just check out how alignment is it with what's called absolute truth. You know, God is at infinity and everything in this world can be uh, calibrated on that scale. Anything that makes you go weak, you know, uh, below integrity is gen generally uh, anti-life and ego. And anything that makes you go strong or at the levels of love, unconditional love. But this is what he did. I don't mean to be offensive. Uh, Hawkins is my teacher and, and uh, please take what you want, leave the rest. I don't mean to to upset people. <clears throat> um, okay, so he, in Power Versus Force, he goes through some research on the Bible. Uh, he also calibrates um, the, um, the Course of Miracles and the Bible. Now, um, the thing, I mean, so here's some interesting stuff. Um, yes, generally, I would say there's a thing like be careful of channeled works. And that is that goes in all places, and even Hawkins would agree. Be careful of any work which is channeled, because you do not know what entity mm. is channeling the work. And uh, uh, Hawkins would say, like, and it's more or less ties in with the Bible, that if you don't know what what entity dictated that information, uh, you could get taken down the hatch you know, with an entity which is of low calibration, a low integrity. So generally it's nicer to have a real life human being than, uh, you know, Master Baba from the fifth dimension has, 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 uh, has told us this text uh, and on how to, you know, and on this secret mysteries of the fifth dimension from Master Baba. So pledge your allegiance, take an oath, and you will know the mysteries of the fifth dimension. So. You know, be careful uh, for with 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 channeled teachers because you just don't know. And if you're a naive spiritual student, you know it, it sounds really good. You know, you want to know the fifth dimension secrets, and and <clears throat> signing your oath in blood sounds like a good idea. You know, but uh, <laughs> but uh, maybe not. But anyway, and if you leave the group, that's not going to be good for you. So <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I won't go into cults too much. Um, now there's a difference between uh, channeled entities and inner dictation. Inner dictation mm. and, you know, oh, I've just gone into trance, Master Baba has told me the first secret of the fifth dimension. You know, all praise to Master Baba. That is ch channeling an entity. Mm. When something comes from an inner place within oneself, that's called inner dictation, which are different things. Uh, and people can actually have karmic contracts for inner dictation work to come through them, which is different to channel channeling an entity. Uh, I don't know if that's clear or not, but anyway. Mm. So, um, now I 
think um, Hawkins referred to the way the uh, course came out through inner dictation, yeah. which is not, which is different to uh, I'm going into trance. Master, ba like yeah. Master Baba is now speaking. The first mystery of the fifth dimension is give all your money to me. There you go. Uh, so um, that's different to a channeled thing. And you know, most a lot of you know, I, and I would agree. If you don't know what entity is channeling. You know, you can be, you know, there's a lot of um, bad entities out there that want naive spiritual students. Now, the thing with muscle testing is it is a safeguard. Now, you might not be able to muscle testing, but if you can find someone who can muscle testing, I have implicit truth in Hawkins and his calibrations. I followed everything he said, and it led to release of addiction, all my illnesses leaving me, and literally life transforming miracles. And that's been my testimony to his teachings. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Mother Teresa endorsed his book, Power vs. Force. Also, the founder of the 12 Steps also endorsed him as well. Also, um, what's the name of that spiritual teacher? Wayne Dyer. Um, I think those, I mean, anyone who knows anything about spirituality, uh, if Mother Teresa, the founder of the 12 Steps, uh, is endorsing you, I mean, and also my experience of their testimony to everything he said and his calibrations. Uh, he's my teacher. So, and now uh, the, um, the, the Bible, you know, there was the, he talks about the Council of Nicaea and the amendments to the Bi Bible, I think in the 16th century, Council of Nicaea, uh, was it Constantine? Uh, and uh, certain things were put in there, like the Old Testament. Um, the, uh, every line can be calibrated from the Bible, uh, and every, every, everything. Now, here's an interesting thing, which he, he says, which I found very fascinating. So the King James's version of the Bible, I think, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a Bible expert, but just roughly. Um, it says, Christ on the cross said, God, oh, why have you abandoned me? Something like that. And then you've got the Aramaic version of the Bible, <clears throat> where it doesn't say that. And uh, if, you, if you check with the muscle testing, did Christ say on the cross, Oh God, why have you abandoned me? Come, your muscle goes weak. So, and, and the Aramaic version, where it doesn't, you know, there isn't a problem with that version. So you start to see, also, uh, generally speaking, um, you know, the, the New Testament, you know, all of it calibrates extremely high. Uh, except for one, 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 one of them that doesn't calibrate high in the New Testament, um, and revelation. I mean, um, in the Old Testament, uh, some of it is positive, and some of it is more uh, is below integrity, in that it goes too much into a punishing God. Uh, and wherever there's too much, generally in the Old Testament, a lot of what he calibrated, where there's a high emphasis on the punishing God. Uh, those were, were not calibrating very high. Um, I'm not a Bible expert, but uh, I mean, I took implicitly. Now, the Course in Miracles calibrated very, very high, especially the workbook by Hawkins. And that's all I needed to know uh, was that uh, it did. And uh, he, he gave his own testimony of uh, running a, I believe it was an attitudinal healing center, maybe in New York or something, where it was. People of serious illness, like cancer, AIDS, myostivus gravis, like life-threatening illnesses, all seemed to recover. And Hawkins recovered from about 23 illnesses, and he gave testimony of, um, you know, some of the fundamental precepts from a course. You know, God did not create it, it is not real. You know, I cancel my belief in, in cancer. You know, I, I cancel my belief in kidney failure, gout, asthma. I was discharged from the asthma clinics. You know, so there's things which you can cancel, which you can say God did not create, and, and illnesses seem to disappear in people. So the level of truth uh, and life-sustaining um, uh, life sustaining teaching, shall we say, that emanate out of the Course, I think bear testimony to the, the power within them. It's not like, you know, I, don't th I haven't heard too many people read the Course, go insane and kill everyone. They're not yet, anyway. So, um, uh, so uh, my own testimony is it, it's, it's, done, it's done good. Even my Ill grave illnesses uh, have miraculously um, uh, seemed to recover. So, um, uh, in terms of the source, 
I mean, I, I go by muscle testing. <coughs> if, the, if it's uh, very highly calibrating, Hawkins recommended it. Um, and, and my own, my own uh, experience is it's very life-supporting. Um, you know, I also go, I mean, Hawkins liked the 91st Psalm, his favourite Psalm, Proverbs, he liked Proverbs. Uh, New Testament, uh, some of the Old Testament he, he did calibrate uh, as below integrity, uh, where there was uh, emphasis on the punishing God. Uh, so I just, I just went along with him on that one. Um, and uh, uh, do I think the Course in Miracles is the work of the devil? Uh, I, I don't, no, I don't think so. Uh, I, th I think there is a difference between, I mean, it is possible to channel an angel, but I think it's dangerous if you don't know what's being channeled. And I think a lot of stuff being channeled, you know, like the, from the fifth dimension and Master Baba and give all your money to the, uh, and get the mysteries. Five, 1,000 you get mysteries from the first dimension, 2,000 will upgrade you to the, to the uh, mysteries of the second dimension. Yeah, I don't really think that stuff is that great. And it's probably through, um, astral entities seeking to mislay spiritual seekers. Um, I think that was, I think that's answering. Uh, I, got, I, I can make, I'm not going to personally make a comment on, on the source, but I believe Hawkins saying it was in a dictation and it calibrates extremely high. In fact, very, very, very high to the extent that it can even take illnesses out of people. So, um, calibrates higher, the lessons calibrate higher than the 12 steps. The 12 steps you often get people recovering from addiction, uh, but the lessons from Course in Miracles people can even recover from grave illnesses. So I definitely wanted to go to the 12 steps, I definitely had addiction problems, but I also wanted something with enough power in it to take out my physical illnesses. So the level of truth is in direct relation to the order of miracles. So the weaker the level of truth, the weaker the level of miracles. The higher the level of truth, like the, the big book has a certain level of truth, with a certain level of intrinsic truth, which you, generally speaking, has enough to stop addiction. But generally, um, may not be enough to stop something like grave illness. Uh, but something like The Course of Miracles, certain lessons like God did not create cancer, is not real, have great power and, high, and very high levels of truth, where, when applied, you know, uh, many people have... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a medical practitioner, but many people have borne witness of miracles, uh, but not, I'm not selling anything. And of course, Miracles is a free publication out there on, on the web.